Hello everyone, this is my Lego Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection Expertaganza. So here we've got the top five custom sets all with all custom minifigures. And it was made by me and uh, and based on the video game Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Lego Star Wars the video game, Lego Star Wars The Original Trilogy, and Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So first, let's take a look at my Episode 5 minifigure collection. Let's just take out this big tray, and here we have our minifigure tray from the previous videos. First, we've got a little Ugnaught. He comes from like the Bespin mock set and is also a vital key because how else would they have frozen Han Solo and Carbonite? Next up, we have the most iconic robot of all time, R2-D2. That's my fake R2-D2 sound. Then next off, we've got Carbonite Han Solo. He's like from the Bespin Mock. Then we've got a Rebel Pilot. Probably, preferably, we could call him Cassian Andor. Then we have Lando. Lobot from Bespin. Luke Skywalker. My custom made Yoda, which is like a Brickheads minifigure. Then we've got an Imperial Flame Trooper, which I put in the hot in the Battle of Hot set, so it would like fight. Yeah. Then here we have Princess Leia. The Millennium Falcon Princess Leia. K2S1, which is a custom droid I made up. It's a tactical, it's a tactical droid. And then Then we've got our broken up C three PO. Ma. Oh, there it is. Then we have Boba Fett. Boba Fraud, okay. Thank you for my best pin video if you haven't watched that already. From the, yeah, he's got the helmet and the face from Jay, from the uh, Forbidden Spinjitsu Jay from Zane's, from Zane's Shuriken Copter. Check out that set if you haven't already. Then, surprisingly, we have another, we have another Stormtrooper, like the regular Stormtrooper. 
This one's the uh, probably the only minifigure that isn't custom made, other than R two D two and eh, yeah. You can see him right now. And we have Chewy. Then we've also got a few Bespin Aerial Guards. And there we've got our Episode 5 Minifigure Collection. Now moving on to the mock sets. First of all, I would like to go with the smallest mock, which is the which is the Best in Guards Battle Pack. Here, let's review on this tray. This is a, a, a battle pack tray. So this is the Best in Guards Battle Pack. Yeah, that's actually pretty good set because you know they so they've actually made so many battle packs, but they haven't made as much battle packs for the good guys as they have for the bad guys because they've had the droids battle pack, the they've had the bounty hunter battle pack, snow trooper battle pack, then praetorian guard battle pack, royal guard battle pack, stormtrooper battle pack, snow trooper battle pack. They've had so many bad guy battle packs that I decided to make, like, a new good guy. So, they're, like, even. And then here, we've got, like, yeah. Now, moving on to the next mock. It's called the, it's called the Battle of Hot Micro. The, it's called Hot Turret. This is my Hot Turret from uh, Echo Base. So here, um, the the main figures we've got here is um, uh, we've got yeah, we've got a Flame Trooper and like a little Rebel, and we've got a Rebel Trooper. We've got Captain Antilla. We've got Wedge Antilles. Who's probably the first male character to be ever shown in a Star Wars movie. But the most uniconic character also. And here, uh, as, as it is, we can just put him right there. Next, for our next mock, we have oopsies. We've got a little um a mock called Yoda's Hut. A little place of Yoda's Hut. Here we got like a little bottle of slug juice from Dagobah. Then here we've got like that that then we've got Low, oh, sorry, no, no, sorry. I mean, uh, we've got here. What minifigure was I gonna put in? Yeah, Yoda, of course, because this is Yoda's giant. And here you can just put R2D2. Here he's like teaching Luke how to use the force.
there. Now for our next mock. This one's a big one. Probably the biggest ship I've ever made in LEGO Star Wars history. In my LEGO Star Wars mock history. The Millennium Falcon. This is a UCCS minifigure scale Millennium Falcon, which I've shown in an earlier video. And then it's split into different chambers. Here we've got the cockpit chamber, where a really good person there would be. Yeah, Chewbacca. Of course, because, uh, you know, I don't know where I put my Han Solo move here, so I'm just putting my brickheads Chewbacca. There, I just need to put something there. There. Now that we've got our little Chewbacca here. Also, yeah, um, I don't know why it's extremely breakable, but let's just leave that alone, shall we? Then we have, like, the little meeting, meeting room in the earlier video. Then we have the Jedi training room, if it were in the New Hope collection. That, that would be what I put there. A little passageway to the cockpit. And a little storage room. Right there, you see. Now, moving on to the next mock. This one's a pretty recent one. I just made it, like, what, yesterday or something? Here it is. We've got our... Battle of Hothmok. And, uh, this really is, like, um, uh, originally I'm gonna, like, just connect, you can actually, this set is actually, like, a combo set, where if you, like, get to these two mock sets, one of them is, like, this turret, and another one is the Echo Base mock, then if you could both of them, and then it's, like, a combo, then this makes the ultimate Battle of Hoth. So here, starting here, we've got a meeting room, and here we have like a little, a little paper mache model of some rebel made like this paper mache ma voodoo of the Death Star, and then they're just gonna basically be sticking needles into it. There's like a little Death Star here. There's like a Death Star too. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. And here we've got a back to tank. We have a little wall. But if you want to see what's inside, then let's just open this flap. And here we just got a little table. And a little cafeteria. I want to get a closer look. There. Like a little block. There. Yep. There you have it. For like the line for like that little mock. Here we've got like our little half broken, a little half broken corridor. 
I just thought that would be nice because this is, is the destruction of Echo Base. So that explains why it's like that. And on top of it, we've got like a, a classic hangar bay. Oh. Yeah. And perfect for dispatching micro fighters. But yeah, now for last but not least, we have my, my giant mock of the, my giant Bespin, the gas, the gas giant Bespin. So here we have like a little door and this roof has got extreme greebling. I got this from Dexter's Diner, which is a little set I built. Here we've got like a little basement. You can just put a Luke Skywalker there. I don't think that would hurt at all, but yeah. And then you can just put like a little storm trooper. Then, then I used lots of plates to make this. And lots of bricks. And tiles. Here we've got like the carbonite freezing chamber. Carbon solo would be great here. And also, and also that the broken C3PO. Can put up my rear. He's like a zapping C three PO. Yeah, our flame people would be great in the bottom floor too. Here we can add, here we can add like our little um, Princess Leia and Boba Frod. And after that, we can add K2, K2S1. Here, let's get it. Okay, here, um, uh. There he is. There he is. There's, there's K, there's K two S O. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and su subscribe, and ring the bell for more notifications and awesome videos, mocks, and and theories from the Brooker Played Lego Productions mock channel. Thank you.